So, I didn't get much chance to shoot any b I'm gonna redo that again because I used the word so. Wait, I just said so again. Let's do that again. You gave the advice. Stop using the word so and all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll start rolling on the camera. All right, so we're going up to New York City like legit. It's how I start every single sentence. And so here's what I do. Here's my way around this. Sometimes I leave it in my videos because I want to like punish myself for saying it. So, I didn't get much chance to shoot any b-roll or anything yesterday, so I'm just going to do a recap of what I've already been up to here in New York City. So yesterday I posted a vlog where I went with my brother-in-law to Yahoo Finance, their production studios, and we got a behind-the-scene look at how their live broadcasts work. I also got to interview Alexis Christophorus and anchor there for a one hour live show, the first trade. And I try to approach my interviews that way. Why do people care? Why should they listen to this? What do they want to gain out of this? And I cannot stress this enough. When you're interviewing people, listen to them. Listen, because if you're not listening, it no longer becomes a conversation and you can't react. That's powerful. What you just said there, right there. And she also hosts one of the best sounding podcasts. The Yahoo Finance presents on iTunes. You should check it out. And if you want to check out that episode, it's right here. After that, went home, offloaded media, recharged batteries. Then my brother-in-law and I went to CBS News and I got to interview national news correspondent Jerika Duncan. One should not lose their passion for whatever it is that they ultimately want to shine light on. That's part of being a journalist. We're not covering this. We need to cover this. Okay, you don't like the pitch? How about if we do it this way? Okay, what if we got this interview? And you just keep going. And then when you're passionate about something, you're not going to stop. Or you're just going to find other ways to do it. Oh, how stern you are with saying that because like I feel like if you were pitching me anything I'd be like yeah let's do that I also got a little bit of more behind the scenes look at how they broadcast into the world with their video signals that's right I'm doing this on the fly so much easier to vlog in New York City Casey Neistatville after that got coffee brushed teeth maybe I already showed that sequence I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video All right, and then I got to interview somebody that's been working for CBS News for over 33 years. He's interviewed people like Bill Cosby, the president. He was over in Afghanistan. This guy is a mountain of knowledge when it comes to journalism. So you would say, President Bush, some people say that Clarence Thomas is not the right candidate. You would throw that out, hoping that he will give you some kind of response. And Wyatt used to refer to it as red meat. <laughs> Randall, I need some red meat. You gotta get him to say something. You gotta get him to say something. And, and the same thing like when he's going to the helicopter or, or coming off the helicopter on the South Lawn. You got sources all over the place, but the source who counts the, is the president. When you get through with the critics and the experts and the analysts, you want the man to be somewhere in your piece saying something. Randall Pinkston, it was a pleasure to get to meet you. Look for that podcast when it comes out. Mercedes, and then a podcast. Just like when you come to New York City, you gotta jump right in. It's like, hey, we're vlogging. It's great, man. It's Cody. I love it. I got to interview later that night Cody Warner, the Mr. No Small Creator himself. It was a pleasure. Sat down, talked to YouTube Shop. I can't wait to release that interview as well. My hands are cold. So definitely, after uh, meeting up with Cody, get so inspired to create content. And that's what I'm doing right now, just making a recap, telling the story of what I've been up to so far. Can't wait until the meetup tomorrow at 368, the legendary 368. Till tomorrow, live a life of abundance, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm your man.